Hello, hello, fam. Welcome. My name is Magdalene Janet. If you are new, welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here having a good time. And come visit me on TikTok and Insta because I'm there daily. And of course, welcome back to all my oldies but goodies. You guys, do my lips look crusty? Not really. Okay, skin is practically done because I've gotten so many requests about this right here. This Milk Makeup Pore Eclipse Mattifying Setting Spray. I believe in primer and setting spray. It does make a difference. It's funny because when I reviewed the MAC foundation on day two, I didn't wear primer and I didn't use a setting spray and I was oily, like oily. Makeup still looked good, but I was very oily, like uncomfortably oily you know when i did that i'm like dang these products definitely lock things in sometimes like certain setting sprays i feel like just they don't give me that um but some do i've never reviewed a setting spray have i i don't think i have but let's do it so before we get started let me give you some info about this so we can get familiarized with this and then i'll be back the new milk makeup pore eclipse mattifying blurring setting spray retails for 38 dollars this is a weightless, alcohol-free matte setting spray that locks on makeup for up to 16 hours. It helps blurs, pores, and controls shine for a soft focus finish. The highlighted ingredient is lentil extract that controls shine, niacinamide, and pore blurry microspheres that minimize the look of pores and fine lines, and bicuchiel that helps smooth skin texture. Purchase mine at Sephora. Okay, now that we have all that info, let me show you my entire face because I did it on camera so you guys can see all the products I used. I use cream products because cream tend to create a little more moisture on the skin. Not too much, but we got to put this spray to the test to see if it's going to work out because you know we're going to do a wear test. So let me cue some music, add that, and then I'll come back and then we'll spray the face. <laughs> You guys, I am like so messy today. My powder completely fell on my lap. I feel like I've been having all kinds of spots on my face. We're back. We're back from creating this look. Hold on, my brow's looking funky. 
right here right here the monitor really helps me because i'm like wait what side what side again this is my lip combo again i'm thinking should we do one side we should right so you always want to shake it up so if you're not familiar with setting spray if you don't use setting spray if you're like i don't know i think it's a gimmick what setting spray does it's in the name it sets your makeup you can add your cream products spray your face down and blend out and then add your powders or what I typically do, well, no, I kind of do both. What you can also do is what we're gonna do today is finish in your entire makeup, set it down, finish it up, and then spray it at the end. This will essentially lock all your makeup in together. That's the point of this. And like I told you, I didn't use it earlier this week and I did see a major, major difference. Setting spray does help lock everything in and it just helps mesh the powders together and it gives your makeup longevity. This is what this is claiming to do. So we're gonna get a paper towel and we're gonna do this motion like this and spray the left side. What side do we wanna look better today? Wait, I need to comb my lashes too. Girl, I'm forgetting everything today. And all the makeup I use today, I know it works well. If I'm looking super oily or something goes wrong, it's not this makeup that I use because it's bomb. What time is it? Oh, I still have an hour. I'm gonna go have breakfast with my friend. She texted me like late yesterday. She's like, you down? I'm like, heck yeah. So I'm like, ooh, you know, you know you'd be excited when you leave the house. That's me today. I'm using the Maybelline mascara, the Surreal. That mascara is bomb. Whew, I'm scared. I don't know why. Okay, let's see the mist. Okay, it's a, it's a little strong, a little strong. Okay, let's go. Yeah, we're, we're getting a good little spray. So what I typically like to do is dry it down a little bit and get my sponge and then tap it in. Let's tap this bad boy in. And by the way, I've gotten a lot of requests for this spray, so thank you for asking me. Oh, that looks good. Did it like blur a little bit? Look, this is spray. No spray. You see how like, oh wait, you see how the no spray, there's this radiance here, right? Oh no, we have the radiance here too. I don't know. Am I, am I like, let me spray a little more this way right okay i'm getting super excited and then tap turn the lights on i don't know we're gonna have to see it's currently oh it's eight o'clock let's see how this works i'll probably do i'm gonna do a lip swatching video so i don't know how long the wear test will be i'm kind of i'm kind of loving this look hmm. we'll see we'll see if it's a gimmick you guys <laughs> I'm trying to be all up in the sun. Okay, I have to be at this angle. Here is the setting spray part side, I mean. Damn, that actually doesn't look bad. Is that mirror? The skin looks super smooth. Hold on, let me lower the window, right? And then this is no primer. You see how you see a little bit of shininess? And it's now been maybe like an hour? Yeah. Okay, damn, I could see a difference. Can you? So spray no spray okay let's see how it goes familia i'm back you guys it is late it, i've been so busy today but i'm so excited i got everything done here we are i don't know how long later but you know i got some footage in daylight here on the left side the side that has no piercings is the setting spray side i really felt like it looked super smooth my oils were coming through you can see the glowiness but not as much as the other side the other side i could definitely tell it was a lot more glowier than the setting spray side here we are now <laughs> How long has it been? 10, I think we started at eight, 14 hours. It is a 16 hour hold. I mean, it is holding dear life to dear life because look, this is the spray side. My nose has lost it out of control. But look, pores, forehead, it's glowy, but I don't know, it's just not as much. It doesn't feel like wet. And let's see this side. This is the no spray side. Definitely this right here, you can tell. Like you can... <laughs> Dang, my makeup, no lie, like it's held up pretty well considering my mouth kind of disappeared. Wait, 
I did do the lip swatch video, the Mario lip swatch video, so I probably took some off. So does this work? I definitely think so. For sure, like it just looks smoother and a little more together than this side. Is it like a huge difference? I mean, I feel like it is to tell you the truth. On camera, I feel like you can't see it as much. I could definitely tell the difference. I did wear primer in my entire face, but I just sprayed this side. This is it, let me know your thoughts. I really like this. Did you guys pick this up? Are you planning on picking it up on the VIB sale? Let me know, let me know, let me know. And this is it fam. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and spending a little bit of your day with me. I love you guys so, so much. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the button right there, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.